So it's the end of a good day. Uh, got those two swarms that we caught in the last video. They're now in their hives. And this is just a really quick video just to show the process. Now I'm not using foundation in my frames. And what that means is that for the bees to build straight comb, the hive has to be level across the width of the hive. It doesn't matter if it's sloping um, front to back, but it has to be level across the width. Otherwise, they, the bees won't build straight comb. Now I'm just placing the first box, um, which is an ideal. Um, I've shifted to ideals because I've been finding the supers just too heavy. And a lot of people will use a super on the bottom, but I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm just trying to build all ideals, so all my boxes are, are, are the ideal. Just so that I don't have, you know, two sets of gear. Now one of the surprises of doing it this way is that with a box of frames and then an empty box, it's really easy to dump the bees in because most of the bees just go through the frames down to the, down to the bottom of the box when you dump them in. And that means that the, when you put the second lot of frames in, you're not having to be as careful because there's this massive amount of bees, um, which, um, yeah, which made it much easier than when I've done um, dropped a, a swarm into a, into a super. So this is just a temporary lid. I'm putting a bit of a, um, I'm putting some tongue over capping boards on top of the quilt box. And then I've got the, uh, got a whole stack of these off cuts, which are a, a coved profile, which I'm using like um, Roman, um, Roman tiles to keep the rain off. That's pretty simple. I'm just running, um, putting some blocks of wood on top of the tongue and groove to uh, create a slope. And I lay one layer of the coved pieces of wood with the curves facing up. And then I'm laying the next lot of cove boards with the, uh, the curves facing down, uh, interlocking with the layer below. So any rain that hits the top boards will you know, either run off or run to the edges of the top boards and then into the gutters of the bottom boards and then it'll run off. So as a quick and dirty roof, it works pretty, it works pretty well. Getting them in the top bar height was even easier. Um, just uh, push the top bars to one side Gently open the box and unwrap, and you know, and just tip the girls in. Looks like a dirt pile, but it's not. It's actually a bee pile. Then I just put the divider board um, away, from, a bit more away from the entrance. Put the top bars on, and it, it, that was all done. Saying more egg you. Why is the graph sh shoved in the hole? Ah, the right. <sighs> well, the grass is shoved in that hole because that's not meant to be a hole. That was a natural knot in the wood, and I meant to fill it with some wood, but I forgot. So I've just stuffed some grass in there so they can't use it. I want. I don't want the entrance going to be where the window is. So. <laughs> you don't want it. Mm. The entrance is near the window. No, no, because then when Troy's trying to stand here and look in the window, they have bees flying at us. So that's why I put the entrance around the side. What about the neighbours? Because they're going to be going over there to the flowers, so the neighbours kind of... Yes, they will. But that, <laughs> that'll mean we'll get lots of apples off that tree. So all in all, that's um, two of the easiest swarms I've ever had to... I've ever captured, and um, two of the easiest swarms I've ever... Um, got into hives and that could be because these hives um, all these bees came from domestic hives whereas all the other bees I've worked with have been ferals um, and uh, yes <laughs> some of them as you've seen in other videos can get a little testy clue for the beehive giveaway um, God right all the other clues I've been running through have been saying it's not the tree is not from this continent, it's not from that continent. So now we get now I guess we're getting into I'm getting ready to the point where I actually want people to actually guess what the tree is, so I can you know give you guys the hive. The clues are going to get better, more useful, and the the clue for this video is that the tree species is from Asia, 
and that will narrow the field down a lot. So, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more clues. And um, we'll see you in the next video.